Hey there, my name is Anthony Romano and in this video I'm going to explain to you the benefits that happen when you combine the ketogenic diet with cold showers and fasting. This is something that I do personally myself since about three years ago, maybe 2016. I started off doing it honestly just for the discipline benefits and that's definitely one of the biggest parts of it for me, but there's a lot more and a lot of health benefits that actually come with it which I'll explain to you in this video. So I got into cold showers around 2016, right before winter, and as I said, I got into it mostly for the mental benefits and the disciplinary benefits, and it definitely had an effect on me in that sense, and I can give plenty of anecdotal experience on that because that's what got me into it, right? Any mental resistance, whether it's physical or mental, is going to grow that muscle, even if it's a mental muscle, and it will also help your cold to tolerance. But for the actual health benefits, I actually have some science behind that besides just my own experience. And the main thing with cold showers that we do know is that it improves your brown fat. So brown fat is basically the type of fat on your body that has much more mitochondria in it. And mitochondria, if you know anything about, you know, cells or, or I mean, if you didn't fail grade nine <laughs> biology, basically they're the powerhouse of the cell. So it's obvious, easy to say, but as far as how you actually perform in your health, it's a lot better thing because fat is an active organ on your body. It's not just there. It still gets involved with lots of other functions in your body on a metabolic level. And having more mitochondria in your fat cells is going to be better for you and how your body actually uses fat. It also helps you to stay leaner. And it's typically the type of fat that makes your body, it gets turned on when there's cold. Okay, so it helps increase your body heat. And that's also how it ties into fat burning. With fat burning, of course, Exposure to cold is going to make you ramp up your metabolic rate and that's going to of course create a heating effect in your body a thermogenic effect and burn more calories. So as a fat burning tool that's the gist of cold showers as far as fat burning is regarding you. Of course if you're in a ketogenic state your body's going to be burning fat more efficiently and you're going to be burning through fat all day long. So you can amplify that by fasting and then taking a cold shower, but getting into ketosis is going to be key for making your body very effective at using fat. Throwing in a cold shower in the fastest state in ketosis is going to be basically a, a, a thermos, a fireplace of burning fat. And creating more of that brown fat is also going to be beneficial for your body composition, how you look. As far as health, okay, some people talk about cold showers as an immunity tool. And I mean, I don't think it'll make you impervious to disease, but a lot of people say it will help you clear out your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is basically your, your immunity and it basically helps you flush everything out of your body, any toxins or anything like that. And of course, cold showers are gonna help you flush out any toxins. As far as the immunity, a lot of people will bring up vitamin C. And vitamin C, if you know anything about it, it can help you get over disease and you can take much higher doses of it it's almost like an antioxidant when you're sick. And what that will do is basically help you clear out disease. So with people who are on a ketogenic diet, your requirement for vitamin C is actually a little bit lower because carbohydrates basically dampen how effective your body uses vitamin C. So if you don't have carbohydrates or gluten or anything inflammatory in your diet, you're going to basically require less vitamin C to get the same result. So when you combine the effects of cold shower with the ketogenic diet and for the sake of this argument, keto and fasting are basically the same thing. They're basically the same state, just the longer you fast, you will get into ketosis. So if you fast for two days, you're in ketosis. If you eat keto foods for three days, you're in ketosis. So getting into that state, that fat burning state, where you also don't have anything that's dampening how much, how effective your vitamin C is going to be, can also play into cold showers and flushing out any toxins from your body. Immune wise, I mean, it is a good tool, but these things are going to have to build up over time. You can't just take a cold shower on a day that you think you're getting sick. And I mean, you can do that and pray for the best. But at the end of the day, on a maintenance level, on a long term level, getting more cold showers in your routine and adding into that routine, a ketogenic diet and fasting is going to do miles for your health and your immunity. Because like I said, you have less to a lot of the toxin containing foods tend to be grain products too which you would be cutting out inflammatory foods i've talked about this in other videos but combining the 
effects on your lymphatic system with cold showers, right? And combining the effects on your metabolism and basically how that affects your immune system, right? Because like I said, the ketogenic diet is a diet where your vitamin C requirements are reduced. And even though some people might say it's harder to get vitamin C on keto, this is wrong if you are eating a healthy amount of organ meats, a healthy amount of foods that contain vitamin C, because a lot of meat contains vitamin C, especially if you get it from an organic source. So a lot of the food items you get on a ketogenic diet, organic vegetables and meat products, are going to be adequate for vitamin C, especially because your need for vitamin C is lower when you have no carbohydrates in place. So combining those two, if you can wrap your head around that, that's kind of the gist and the argument behind the immune effects of cold showers plus fasting and ketosis. Fat burning is probably the main reason why people are going to be after it, and I already explained the effects on your metabolism, getting in that fat burning state through fasting and ketosis, and then amping that up with cold showers is going to do miles for you. Another benefit of fasting is autophagy. So many people may have heard of this. Autophagy is what happens when you fast for longer periods of time. So anything longer than 24 hours. Autophagy is like cellular cleansing. And if you can already get into cellular cleansing state and then throw in some cold showers into your routine, you'd probably notice a lot out of that. And for me, I haven't been sick since 2018 February, but I mean, that could be due to a number of things. And I was still doing cold showers during that time. Overall, it would be wise for you to look into this more because it's a good strategy that can help you with your overall health. Another thing I will say is that this could be something that could save you some cash because when I was living in New Zealand, I did cold showers very often just to save money on the water bill and it gets you in line with that discipline I was talking about. And I mean, as you get used to it, it's really nothing and it's kind of exciting. It gets a little bit of a rush through you. So you could almost use it to hype you up and get you ready mentally for certain things. Last thing I'll close off by saying is that I definitely feel like there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle to health, but it's just something you might want to throw in because mentally on a discipline level, it's definitely beneficial, especially if you combine it with the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting. Metabolically, it's very beneficial, helps with the brown fat, helps with your ability to burn fat if you are amplifying it with a ketogenic diet and fasting routine. And overall, on a cellular level, it's also beneficial as well due to the mitochondria in brown fat and via cellular cleansing through autophagy. So that's kind of the main gist behind all of this. I know it's a quick video, but I really wanted to just throw this at you because a lot of people are interested in these things and how they fit together. And I'm somebody who's been doing them for many years and it's just very beneficial and it shows in how you perform. It even shows up in your skin. Your skin will get a lot clearer. And for me, it's helped me clear up a lot of my skin because I typically get a little bit of acne on my shoulders and chest. But I've been doing this stuff my friends think I'm crazy <laughs> and I am crazy, but if you want to try some of this, it's definitely a good tool to sharpen your mind and your body. If you want to learn more about the ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting, autophagy, cold showers, anything like that, weight training, bodybuilding, this is what my page is about. I encourage you to subscribe to me right now if you learned anything beneficial from this video. You can also find my free keto meal plan, free keto training plan in the description and I'm going to have online coaching up very soon to work one-on-one -on -one with you and get you to your goals guaranteed. That's going to be up very soon. Besides that, thanks for watching this video. My name is Anthony Romano. Peace. Also join my Facebook group in the description. Peace.